what is good this is a r a h of n y typical dot net or night of n y typical dot net don't know why i still say a r a h oh yeah because that's my twitter aura of night <laughs> and uh my instagram is aura of night but yeah literally i'm here to talk about yoji um <laughs> first of all i just want to say i'm an absolute wretch i don't know anything um yoji is way too smart for me um he is the intel most intellectual designer that i know and like or that we have around here and like i said i don't know anything so i could be wrong however what i've seen from him this season absolutely blew me away and (laughs) literally i am so dumb i can't even speak to you guys about it properly because i need the show notes so if you would love to tell yoji or to message yoji to give ara the show notes because he is pleading just so he can talk about this collection properly and break it down in the right way of all 23 looks that would be amazing now if you guys don't know what i'm talking about yoji yamamoto dropped um a fashion collection not so long ago quite a couple days in paris fashion week and during this passion paris fashion week it was like about um let me say how long the video is let me see how long the video is the video is a 14 minute video i'm gonna download this right now man it's a 14 minute video with 23 looks all designed impeccably right i must say impeccably like literally these guys were like outlaw japanese cowboy anime pirate space pirate vibes that were just to die for like each individual look gave you something else and like the references in there was just so smart and intellectual that i can't necessarily say that i 100 percent know where they come from but i can tell you what i think i know as i said i am a wretch <laughs> i am too dumb and like this guy is just like <laughs> he i could have cried watching this show like first things first i want to break down the music it was literally like the guitars were strumming at your heartstrings <laughs> it was like ding, ding, ding. <laughs> literally bro <laughs> and, and then like these guys the 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 music only added more to the emotion that yoji was bringing and the thought provokingness of each individual look and from when these models were walking like a short catwalk and let's say like um 40 yards maybe even even less than 40 yards like 10 yards maybe and like they showed it and then they left but then there were points where he was showing you the blend so like he had cotton linen and something else like um let me let me actually in emboss embolden this this uh so oh and tenko whatever that means right oh and polyester right so boom and this gave the clothes some immaculate texture like the texture was just phenomenal where it was like this sort of paper or maybe even i'm not gonna say it's a reference to origami but it's like this paper this like soft and like not silky but like just textured like feel to it and like it's almost like it's clean and rough and like just it's just majestic like there's something for anyone there and like if you love like the crepes like he's even got that there and like the prints right their most intelligent use of prints there's this like there's these rock and roll japanese punk references yeah that he has on his tees and he's got this image of him like with his mouth open yeah (laughs) with this girl above and it's just like what on earth who is your like literally right and like he's got this handle with care and then like um fam let me get my book basically 
he's got this one reference and i need to i need to say this properly i need to say this properly one reference in the thing so it's like um inheritance soldiers of the bequest now i looked this up but i'm a wretch so i have no idea what this may possibly mean <laughs> <laughs> but i tried i tried i tried my best so this is about augustine succession right and um i said it's quite anonymous who is inheriting what and my mind immediately went to um immediately went to uh the earth and like all of the, all of the sick people that are, hang, ha, uh, are hanging about and like i looked up the quest <laughs> like <laughs> so it's literally inheritance again so but it's about like death basically and dismay and all of these other dark things that are happening and like we are literally in a tumultuous time right now so he's possibly alluding to that and like there's no i don't think there's no easy way to um to just say what he actually meant by that but it exists it's there tell him to give me the show notes so i can say something like real about it <laughs> but with that he's also got um this army soldier reference because not only is that reference there but then there's also the references from um from the the 1800s the 1700s where like um these soldiers have caught now not caught in like law court but like high court high society type stuff right now these people were made to dress the best and like dress and this this is pro this that's where um fashion designers came in they came in with the best dress and the best garments, and these people were made to impress other people and they and these outfits were mad expensive and some people actually went broke trying to impress their friends with new clothes that's enough of that part but literally the people with the most clout let's say nowadays but the people who um you had the most to say and how to most talk about and like when like when you're in court you can't necessarily um just speak you speak when spoken to or you speak when you have something truly to say and the people that have something truly to say are the soldiers there and those those soldiers are are the ones with all the stories and all the tales of war so when we're talking about um the napoleon war like um freaking who else is there like i don't i don't want to like i'm not i'm terrible at history like i said i know nothing tell you just give me short notes but yeah like um all of the all of the little wars that happen around in europe um like the prussian war everything like wherever <laughs> but literally the court the the european court and then he's got this one like around like four yeah so basically yeah he's got these little eye buttons right little eye buttons literally on his clothes and it's like where is this from is this from china is this from japan is this from india is like and that is when i spot like it was on it was on one jacket first and then it was on like um a second jacket and that's when i said to myself you know what dumb Laurie? you absolutely don't know anything and you need to relax yourself <laughs> like, i literally had to tell myself you know what fam B like bun you and everything you think you know about fashion <laughs> because wait two seconds he was literally just giving us too much he was giving us too much i couldn't even say anything like literally and i don't know if my camera is even in focus that's how blurry all my vision is right now <laughs> literally yeah i'm just so flabbergasted by what he's done and i must say i don't wear suits i've been protesting against suits for however however many years now because i just despise the idea that for me to be accepted or to be more acceptable i have to wear suits but um or when i'm most ex accepted is when i'm wearing suits but these suits that he's made these sports jackets these soldier coats every everything that he's made i want i want a yoji suit i will never be able to afford it by myself so please help my page blow up so i can get clout and leverage <laughs>
<laughs> and actually get what I need because blood clotting as rotting. Like these prints, like who does this intelligent way of making prints on garments? And he just wait, he just continues going. Let me just play some of this. Like and then the the smart layering and then like the tearing away of the fabric and like not even just tearing away it's like it clips off so he's got these button things on the arms and like they they're like and it's almost like everything is patched on but then like it's ripped on top and it's like wait what this is a bit mad i can't take this like literally every single look is just clean smart authentic and properly well made but then it has all the references like laid on top of it like he has the the word prints he has all, he has all of these things that's just like i am telling you i am the best that is what yoji's done yoji has told us that he is the best and we need to respect him and that is what i'm doing right now i am respecting yoji I made sure my camera was back in focus so I can tell you right now. I am respected Yoji. Literally. I can't even I can't speak enough about this. Like there's it this that red that one red jacket spoke to me so much that I had to stop the video and compose myself. Because this man did what no other person could do. Like and I was just amazed and I feel like it's been overlooked this fashion week. No one is actually properly deep in what Yoji is doing or what Yoji did. Like in 23 looks, what he did. And imagine if he had the whole way to go about it. He created a phenomenal collection that surpassed everything that I've seen and the and when you and i feel like people overlook it because it's yoji but in my eyes there is so much to gain from this so much to understand from menswear from the way suits are made all of these other things right what masculinity is how you can like um not feminize it like because I, I don't want to even think, think of it but how you can create an emotion in masculinity without um bending the bars that masculinity has has given so it's naturally and it's in like emotion is intrinsic emotion isn't feminine it's intrinsic masculine emotion and that is the thought process that i i feel has gone behind it and has been exposed to me in what i could possibly do in menswear collections moving forward because that is the only way un, only thing and only inspiration that I can see from this is the fact that this man had properly, or should I say, this man knows what he's doing, categorically knows what he's doing, and he did not miss here. And I don't think he's missed even prior since I've been a men's where Rick and Yoji, two top dogs that have like stood the test of time to me. And like when I look at this collection, it's like you're proving it again this fashion week of all fashion weeks you, like inheritance of inheritance soldiers of the bequest what i'm stealing that that's mine now i take it like that is me i'm the inheritance i'm this i'm the bequeathed i'm the bequeathed i'm taking so like yoji gave me the inheritance of the bequeathed like i am the bequeathed and his inheritance is mine like that is what i've actually seen today like that court reference is still killing me like because when you marry those two understandings like inherited soldiers of equip and like the 18th century and 17th century and the 19th century um court system then it's like when you get someone's in well the real meaning is when you get someone in inheritance it's like someone has died on field and you are now getting what this soldier has given to you that's how i'm ending a video <laughs>